Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof of the small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. During the era of general looting of the tombs of Egypt, Greece, and Rome, there was evidence of lamps that burned from the time of burial. Such a lamp was found in the tomb of Cicero's daughter, where it burned in an airtight room for 1600 years. Another was found in 1500 in the Bay of Naples, another in Antioch in the 6th century, in Indian, Chinese, Egyptian temples, and even in Central and South America. The wicks of these lamps are made of fire-resistant asbestos. It is weather alkaline wear resistant, though it conducts electricity poorly. But it can be the shell of the wick, protecting it for hundreds of years. Everlasting, no soot, impervious to the absence of oxygen, and the strange appearance of these products, electric light fixture as it were. True, no battery will last that long, but electricity in the atmosphere is endless. But as long as its existence is ignored by scientists, they will not solve the riddle of eternal lamps. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. While fighting in Flanders, Major Summerford was struck by lightning, leaving him paralyzed in his lower body. He left military service and went to Vancouver. In 1924, the retired Major was fishing on the river bank when lightning struck the tree under which he was sitting. The Major, barely recovered from the last lightning, was paralyzed on the right side of his body. Two years later Mr. Summerford learned to walk again, and was even able to walk to a nearby park, but in 1930 lightning struck him again. This time the Major was completely paralyzed, and died in short order. The story did not end with his death. After his funeral, lightning struck his tombstone three more times. There are other examples of the selectivity of lightning. In 1899 it struck an Italian man dead. Exactly 30 years later, at the same place, lightning killed his son, and in 1949, his great-grandson was struck by lightning. What do you think? By the way, let's talk about celebrities. Jamie Campbell Bower starred in the Twilight Saga, Harry Potter, and Stranger Things. In other words, young people love him. Partly for this reason, everything about him is highly satanic. On the cover of Wonderland, Bauer wears a horn satanic mask. Some might say, well, that doesn't mean he's into actual Satanism. Let's keep going. This is merch, sold by Bauer. An inverted cross on a holy bible. It all revolves around blatantly satanic themes. This is what young girls who think he's cute see when they look up his Instagram page. As usual, the one I sign popped up everywhere in the past month. In fact, there are so many pictures that I can only post a small fraction of them. Nevertheless, here are some of the most painfully obvious ones, performed by some of the world's biggest stars. Kourtney Kardashian recently promoted her fashion show using this pic. 
look at it. It's nothing else than a big fat one eye sign. There's nothing else going on with that pick. It's a sign of allegiance and submission. Viola Davis is the star of The Woman King. I did not watch this movie, but I already know that it perfectly fits the agenda of promoting hatred and division between races and sexes. That's the only reason why it was made. However, the Hollywood hacks who were trying to gain social credit points by making this movie forgot one important detail. In real history, Dahomey's warriors actually helped slavers. Oopsie. To promote this movie, Viola Davis was featured on the cover of El Brazil. There's a very clever one I sign to let you know that she's a tool of the elite. But wait. Maybe this is not a one I sign. Maybe it's just her wearing the most ridiculous hat in human history, which happens to hide one eye. Alright, let's look at another pic from that photo shoot. The very obvious one I sign. Very. In another pic, Viola wears a symbolic dress where creepy hands go across her chest and on her privates. The hands represent the handlers who control her. Moral of the story is, the woman king is not about empowerment, it is about the exact opposite. Kate Blanchett is a very respected actress. After decades in the industry, she amassed tons of awards and remains one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood. Despite all of this, she still needs to show submission to the elite by doing the one eye sign on the cover of Vanity Fair. May Musk is Elon Musk's mother. She does the one eye sign all the time. All. The. Time. This is the poster for the upcoming Chucky series. While this character was always evil, this poster is all about the occult elite-specific brand of Satanism. At the very top, we see the words The Second Coming, which is a mockery of Jesus. On Chucky's throne, we see a couple of inverted pentagrams, the words Holy Hell above an inverted cross, and a couple of syringes. In short, this is yet another product that's been formatted to fit the occult elite's very specific set of symbols. There's a very annoying agenda happening around the world, the promotion of bug eating. As usual, the powers that be insidiously target children with their indoctrination. This poster exists in California public schools. It tells children to eat bugs using manipulative reasons, such as, A, everyone else is doing it, B, it's cool and of course, C, you can dip cockroaches in chocolate. A full video is required to explain the reasons for this agenda, and it is coming soon. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.